Part 3. Some tips on getting started in Second Life. To join Second Life, go to secondlife.com. Be sure to check the System Requirements page. You'll need a robust video card to run this application. Here, you can create an avatar, select a unique name, and download the Second Life viewer. When you log into Second Life for the first time, you'll arrive at Orientation Island, where you'll learn the basics of managing your experience. After graduating, you may find that you still need additional help. I recommend a site at the community virtual library called The Learning Curve. It's a training center that provides step-by-step -step instructions on various help topics. Here is a screen capture of a tutorial on learning how to fly. For more information on the community virtual library, visit infoisland.org. Another excellent place to continue learning is Virtual Ability. For more information, visit virtualability.org. VA is an award-winning island in Second Life dedicated to assisting people with disabilities to explore and integrate into virtual worlds. And it's an excellent site for all beginners. It provides lessons, exercises, and tests, and ends with a free shopping spree to help develop your appearance in a mentor section where you may ask additional questions. When you arrive at Virtual Ability, you'll find a boardwalk. As you progress along the walk, you'll see signs with instructions to help you learn to move, manage your appearance, communicate, make friends, join groups, navigate, control your perspective and camera angles, learn to fly, dance, and much more. If you still need more help, while in Second Life, you can always press F1 to launch Second Life's help menus and the Second Life Support Portal provides a knowledge base and a variety of Second Life support videos. Second Life's blogs, wikis, and forums are also good spots to ask questions and find answers. At the New Media Consortium's island in Second Life, there's a training center. And the NMC website provides a getting started wiki and a variety of video tutorials. And there's always Second Life's Guide to Getting Started. Don't forget the variety of books on the market and in libraries. Some tips for librarians. To learn more about what educators and librarians are doing in Second Life, attend in-world conferences, such as the yearly Virtual World's Best Practices in Education Conference. You may also attend Second Life events to keep abreast of events, you can join groups such as the Second Life Librarians, Alliance Volunteers, Info Groupies, and Second Life for Educators. Social networking sites such as the Second Life Librarians Ning is a good place to converse and network with colleagues. And the Journal of Virtual Worlds and Education will keep you up to date on developments in the field. You might also want to read some of the articles produced by EDUCAUSE on the development and future of virtual worlds in education, such as those by A.J. Kelton, Director of Emerging Te Instructional Technologies at Montclair State University. These include seven things you should know about Second Life, Virtual Worlds Outlook Good, and Second Life Reaching into the Virtual Worlds for Real World Learning, which provides an excellent tour of education sites. As you explore this new terrain, keep in mind the spirit of play and recreation to fan the flames of creativity and learning. In the words of George Bernard Shaw, we don't stop playing because we grow old, we grow old because we stop playing. Hope to see you in world soon. Enjoy your second life.